a little chill in the air, a great big tree in Center City Park. It must be the holiday season in Greensboro. And we have a whole new list of things for you to gift, to see, and to do. Let's talk about things going on downtown. First, of course, Piedmont Winterfest is back. Yes, Piedmont Winterfest is back. It's got some really cool new decorations on it. Um, and it is a great time right now, especially with the weather, a little cooler than last year. Um, so if you got some skates, lace them up, hit the ice. There's a whole schedule online at downtownindecember.org. Um, it's a great day to come out and Definitely skate. Definitely so. All right, so I know the tree lighting is coming up and we love the beautiful tree that we get to see downtown every year. Yes, yeah, so the tree lighting is back this year. Last year we had it up, but we couldn't do, you yeah, know. Big to do with yeah. everybody there. But now we're doing it again. So make sure you're there um, at Center City Park, um, 6.56 p.m. Perfect. Then right after that, if you want to head on down the street to Elm Street, we have our whole Festival of Lights. There's going to be a lot of vendors. We're going to have food trucks. We're going to have so many performers, live performances lined up and down the street. Um, it's just, it's a great time. If you've been there before, which I'm sure you have, and anyone else that's come in the prior years, it is a can't miss holiday event. I am here for all of it. I love it. Okay, there's other things. I know Santa is making a visit to downtown Greensboro. Oh, yes. He makes a pit stop in downtown every year. So this year he will be back at the Biltmore Hotel for a couple weekends in December. It's a great time to get your Christmas lists and bring the little one out um, and, you know, chop it up with a big man. Yeah, you got to talk to him. Of course, reservations, you got to make that happen. So oh, yes. make sure you check that out because those are going fast. Of course, shopping and dining. I mean, this is the place to be in, in in December and during the holiday. It is. There's no other place you can find everything that you need on your shopping list in downtown Greensboro. So we have Small Business Saturday is a great day to come out and then also all throughout the month of December our shop owners are running different specials, some live performances some nights. Um, it's a great time to come out. What are you most looking forward to about this holiday season in Greensboro? Ooh. That's a hard one. We have a lot of things. I think one of my favorite um, and new experiences that we have is Tinseltown over in LaBarra Park. Um, we're going to have 50 decorated trees by local nonprofits. It's going to be a great display of lights, Christmas cheer. You can come out, vote on your favorite tree. The top five winners will each get $500 toward their cause. Um, and it's a free walkthrough, you know, so you can come and do it on your own time. It's just, it's really gorgeous. Last year, it was beautiful. Love it. And will I see you on the ice at some point? Honestly, I cannot ice skate. I'm more of a roller skater. Not yet. You cannot yet there ice skate. There we go. I think I can. So maybe someday when nobody is around, I'll do an early skate by myself. So fun to chat with you today. Thank you so much for sharing some of the fun things going on. And you can find out everything you need to know, where to eat, where to shop, where to play, where to just hang with friends and see all the beauty that downtown has to offer, downtownindecember.org. If you are shopping for a little one this holiday season, you have to make a stop at Greensboro's own toy store, Toys & Co. in Friendly Center. It is the place to shop and it's also a place to play, even for you big kids. Jesse Stafford Langham is the assistant manager here. Hello. Hey, how are you today? Great. I hear you've had a record year. Is that true? Really great. It's been really great, yes. The community's really just coming out and showing their support for their little local toy store. Well, and we need like fun. We just Absolutely. need more fun. Yes. All right. So we always count on you to kind of tell us what's hot and what's new and fun in toys this year and an and interesting spin. I mean, I think, you know, that's the fun part about coming here is you, you can explore, you can be inspired. Absolutely. And find some unique things that you won't always find anywhere else. And then still some of the hottest things that uh, is on everybody's wish list, hopefully. Okay. So let's, let's start down here and we have a lot of these in our home, but somehow they're never enough. I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, they just want more and more and more. And you can't talk this year without talking about the fidgets because uh -huh. it has been going for 11 months strong. Oh. Um, most popular being the pop fidget there. Mm -hmm. It's almost like endless bubble wrap for them. Pop yeah. the bubbles, flip it over, pop it again. They're making games, they're collecting them, they're trading them. Um, so that's just uh, really been a trend for this year, for sure. Just along in general with any kind yeah. of fidgets, really. And holiday themed And holiday fidgets, yes. Yeah. Yep. You, can't, you have to have that. You have to have that, <laughs> yes. Yep. 
And everybody is kind of always hunting for that big gift for the year. And like you said, little kids all the way to big kids, this piece in particular being one of those, it's the collector piece from Playmobil, Star Trek edition, wow. uh, lights and sounds, Bluetooth capable, you get the Ooh. whole crew. Uh, it's it's going to be a really big ticket item for them this year. That is something. Okay, this looks like for some of our, our littler, uh, littler gift, gift, uh, giftless folks, I guess. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, for the youngest ones in the family. Um, we're doing really great this year with one of our dress up companies. They actually have little companion dresses oh. for their dolls oh. or stuffed animals so they can dress and match and um, just look as sweet as they can be. And it says it's washable. I love that. It is, yeah, <laughs> washable. And they have tons of styles. Um, and again, just how adorable is yeah. it to have you and your doll matching? Yeah, <laughs> um, so and, and then um, we are huge fans of our Jelly Cat plush company here. Mm -hmm. And one of the great gifts you can do is a book with a little companion stuffed animal. Gives them something to possibly hold on to uh, forever as that real special, special gift for them. I love it. Okay, arts and crafts are always huge. Always. Always. And we do love our arts and crafts here. And we have arts and crafts for your four-year-olds up to your 13-year-olds up to your adults as well with pottery wheels and, and things like that. This one is a really cool company. You get the aspect of putting the puzzle together and then you get to paint it. Mm -hmm. So they're doing the arts and crafts and they're also working that mind and that imagination. Yeah, kind of science involved there too. Yeah, um, some good games it looks like. Uh, this one here is going to be the Gravitrax Marble Run. Uh -huh. So when they're little and they really enjoy that marble run, if it's still an interest of theirs when they get eight, nine, ten years old, this incorporates <clears throat> a little bit of them building it themselves, ah. getting to work through that process of the gravity aspect and assemble it, take it apart, put it together another way just get to play and play and play. Love it. Okay, and speaking of play, pretend play is huge at our house yeah. still, yeah. and we have big kids. <laughs> yeah. um, and one thing that you can add to that to make it really cool would be the air fort. Mm -hmm. You need a box fan to go along with it. After that, you just plug it in, uh, let the box fan inflate the fort. It's a great size. They can get in, crawl underneath, hang out, read, do homework. Watch have a movies. snack, yeah. Yeah. have a snack, <laughs> nap, whatever they would prefer to do it. in there. Yep. And a bunch of different styles of those as well. So cool. And speaking of cool, I mean, this is really fun. Yes, this is another one of our uh, hot hits for the year and I really think could span a lot of ages throughout the family, mm -hmm. through the whole household. The Jellyfish Mood Lamp, you plug that in, it has several different color settings that they can pick from there. Mm -hmm. You don't have to feed them. You don't have to change their water. It's great. Perfect little pet. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and, and, you know, we always like things that make noise. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Some parents may be like, no, no, but trust me, this is great. It comes with headphones. Uh, it's the Rock and Roll Code Drum Set. What's really great about it is it also comes with a color-coded songbook. So it really actually starts to teach them the basics of playing the drum, and they can follow along and really just start to explore their musical side. And it doesn't take up much space. It's actually not that yeah, loud. It's not that loud. You can roll it up and put it away. Um, much more convenient than a full-size drum kit. And so, Jesse, when people come to Toys & Co, do most people know exactly what they want? Or do they say, you know, need some inspiration? You know, what do you see? Um, it's a little bit of both, actually. And sometimes even with the same shopper, they may have a few specific things that they're looking for. And then they may need our help. And that's why we're really here. We try to ensure that we can take you around, show you lots of options for every age that you're shopping for, gift wrap it for free, and, and send you on your way. That is key, and it looks beautiful under the tree. Yes, Thank yes. you so much. Always a pleasure to spend a little time with you. Uh, you really have to come by and visit Toys & Co. Uh, just walk around, and you will be inspired, I'm sure, by a little child in your life or a big kid in your life. They are at Friendly Center. Come visit them now through the holidays. You can probably find something for everyone on your list at Greensboro Zone, the Fresh Market. Jessica East is store manager of the Lawndale Fresh Market, and people may not realize, but Fresh Market is a Greensboro company. Absolutely. Yep. And it is a great place to do your holiday shopping. It really is. We have so much to offer. It's pretty amazing. Well, so, I, I mean, I love to give consumables for gifts. I love to get consumables, things that we will eat or use or, you know, or sure. give away even. Sure. So, um, so tell us about some of the popular items here during the holidays. Yeah. Um, I always say you can't beat the gift of food. Yeah. Um, we've got so many different types of candies, uh, chocolate, um, bulk nut items. We have trays. 
um, pretty much something for everyone. Hot chocolate is always a fan favorite this time of year. Um, gift baskets already made or you can create your own. Um, there's just so many different options. And when you see the fresh market on something, that means it's actually made or packaged or, or, or it has a connection to Greensboro. That's right. It's They're made exclusively for us um, and that uh, brand is always very popular for the holidays. Absolutely. I, I know holiday meals, you do those. So if, for those who don't like to cook, we can come and just pick up everything we want. Absolutely. Everything fully cooked. Um, you can spend more time with your friends and family at home and don't have to worry about putting together a huge meal. Uh, let's talk about hostess gifts because I know a lot of times you're on the way to a party and you're like, oh, I need something to take. Um, sure. And maybe I don't want just a bottle of wine, but there, there are lots of options here. Lots of options. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the gift baskets, yeah. um, they're always very popular. Uh, we have a lot of specialty like Godiva items and things that you can't find everywhere else. Um, and like I said, the, the gift of food is always wonderful. Always. And the flowers here are always amazing and last and are gorgeous and are always welcome to brighten up a home. That's right. Um, the orchids are beautiful. They're something that we're known for. Um, people come specifically for those a lot of times. And of course, we're standing in front of, we're in the Lawndale Fresh Market, which has just had some major renovations and a beautiful new place to not only shop, but to eat. That's right. <laughs> yep, absolutely. And we brought it to our hometown, uh, which is really, really special too, I think, for the guests of Greensboro. What has the response been? Um, uh, incredible. Yeah. People love it. Um, it's it's beautiful to look out, but it's also, everything is so yummy. The food is really good. Yeah. Food, coffee, it, it, right. it's everything uh, when you're walking around and you need something to go, you can, it's, it's right here for you. What is it about working in Greensboro and, and being part of a Greensboro company that you like? This store is very special to me. Um, we have a lot of guests that have shopped with us since the very beginning uh, when Ray and Beverly opened the Fresh Market. Um, they just keep coming back and their children, their children, children. So it's kind of a, a legacy, I guess you could say. Do you have a favorite holiday tradition in Greensboro? Oh my goodness. Well, the way that um, I guess we kind of, no one does the holidays like the Fresh Market does. And just from, you know, the decorations um, to the kind of, it, it's really like a family atmosphere here. So um, every, starting in pretty much early November all the way through is, is uh, really exciting to be a part of. Well, we're, we're going to be doing some shopping, so thank you so much. And, of course, you can visit the Fresh Market. This one is on Lawndale Drive, um, or find the closest one near you and do all of your holiday shopping and fill your tummy at the same time. We are in William Mangum's studio, and for the 34th year, this is number 34, we have an honor card that he created to benefit Greensboro Urban Ministry. 34 years you have been doing this, mm -hmm. so take us back and tell us about how it first started for you. Oh my, it's hard to believe, but back in 1987, I befriended a, a fellow by the name of Mike Saavedra, and at that time, little did I know that Mike was not only homeless, but he was mentally ill. And during that time, I befriended him and really kind of helped him get off the streets. And then three years, he passed away. And from that point forward, in 1988, I created the first honor card for Greensboro Urban Ministry called Not Forgotten. And here we are today, 34 years later, doing an annual piece to raise awareness and funds for different agencies all across the state. Mm -hmm. What really began in Greensboro is actually now in 14 different cities from the mountains to the coast. That's amazing. What is that, when you think about that impact that you've had, I mean, not only on the dollars raised, and that's a big number, over $9 million raised to benefit these agencies, but also the awareness. What does that mean to you? Well, I think more than anything, it's hard to believe that the impact of a homeless individual would create such a a resource and while I have the gift to annually create the painting it was what Michael did in my own life that stirred it and I think as we drive around on street corners today you see everywhere still the plight of homelessness and the needy with us so this is just a small way to send that message forward 
And uh, the honor card is a very simple instrument where you purchase it basically for $5 or more. And then what you do is you inscribe it and you say a gift has been sent to Greensboro Urban Ministry or one of the agencies by you in honor of that individual. And what is so fantastic is with the underwriting support of Wells Fargo, their foundation, 100% of all proceeds go directly to each local agency. That is amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about this year's painting? Sure. Well, this year's honor card is titled A New Way. And this past couple of years has really, we've all had to readjust. And I think it's appropriate that we have tried to find a new way to survive and, and to tackle life. And for me personally, each morning when I get up, whether it's warm or cold outside, I look to some resources to really help me jumpstart my day. And without those inspirational thoughts or sort of a Bible verse, I don't think I could take on life itself. Well, what the agencies do, they really are sort of like that verse as well. They are so consistent and they are so faithful and they really are the triage units all across the state that sort of absorb and these people in need know that they can come there and they'll not be turned away. So the faithfulness of individuals in our community really is the success to the honor card. So a new way, this particular scene, believe it or not, it's just, it's made up. Um, that imagination is just the gift that I possess. But I think we have to, during this time of just the most challenging aspects, and I'm really delighted that this season we'll be able to get back together as a family, but we've often had to turn to our faith to find a new way out of these circumstances. So that really is the genesis for this particular card. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. And where can we find the cards? Well, in Greensboro, they're in over 14 different locations, but I would suggest that you go to greensborourbanministry.org. That's where they have a list, but you'll find them at Barnes and Nobles. You'll find them at Leon's Hair Salons. Uh, even my good friend Bob Plummer at Fleet Plummer carries them. Uh, they're really all across the city. And I'm just so grateful for people really considering this for their holiday card because of the impact that it makes. It really is a gift. It's a gift to a loved one to show them that you care enough to do something in their honor for someone else. And it is a gift to our community that just keeps giving and taking care of our neighbors. And that's what we're called to do, I know. I thank you for that. And uh, if you want more information or if you have friends that are across the state and they're looking at this idea as a potential, go to thehonorcard.com. That's a website that we put together that gives all of the inspiration, not only of this card, but the entire history and where they can contact any of these agencies to secure it. Always great to spend some time with you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And, and of course, uh, you can buy your honor cards. Pick them up anytime. It is a great gift to give to everyone on your list. When is paper more than just paper? When it gets in the hands of Pam Maxwell. She is the owner of Paper Therapy. Hello, thanks for having us to your studio. Thank you. How did you get started doing this? Okay, so I started out making greeting cards. Okay. And I was sending greeting cards to all my nieces, nephews, aunts every holiday. And from there, I just started doing other things. And I started scrapbooking. And then from scrapbooking, I just started my paper therapy business. So I let make little seasonal treats for everybody, gift sets, gift boxes, anything that's made with paper, I can pretty much make it. <laughs> so you, you just kind of started doing this on your own. I'm guessing you gave them as little gifts and then people were like, oh, can you make some for me to give? And th is that how it kind of grew? Yes. So I started making these little gift boxes and everybody's like, oh, those are great. Can I get 10? I was like, well, okay. So from there is how I really got started. So people, like you said, just wanted things and I started making them and then I started selling them. So let's talk about what are some of the things that you make with paper? Okay, so I make gift bags. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, paper? Wow. And this is made out of paper. I make gift sets. They have like hand sanitizer, tissue, and lip balm in them. I make little purses uh, out of paper. They have um, nuggets in them. I make cocoa mugs out of paper. And they have an ornament and hot chocolate mix in them. I make hot cocoa cones, which is like a, a cone. And it's got hot chocolate in it with marshmallows and chocolate and sprinkles. What is it about paper that is therapy for you? I have always made stuff out of, out of paper. Even when I was just, you know, doing little things for my daughter's class, it was always made from paper. And so I just love paper. It's just, you can make almost anything out of paper. And I'm guessing the holidays are your busiest time. Yes, from October, November, and December, I am super busy. And I have an Etsy store, so I get, you know, I do Etsy store, and then I have craft shows that I also do. So I was going to ask you, how do people find you? How do they see your products? How do they purchase them? Okay, so I mostly it's through craft, uh, my craft store, my craft shows. I um, started doing craft shows, and I started a mailing list. So now I have the, all these customers that I send them out something and say, these are the shows that I'm doing this year. Come and see me. I give them a coupon. So I get really busy. Now Etsy, of course, is a little bit different. People know that they can find me on Etsy, but you know, Etsy does its own thing. Right. So. But we can find you there and we can see your things yes. and get in touch with you that way. Yes. And special requests, do you take those? I do customization and personalization. So you can customize and say, oh, I only want purple. Right. You know, give me 10 of something in purple, 10 of something in green. And I can do that. And um, if you have a tag, and most of my products have holiday tags on them, I can, you know, personalize the tag and put your son's name on it or Merry Christmas or something like that on your tag. What is it that you love about this? I love it when people get it and say, oh my God, that is so cute. I love this. <laughs> that is what I really love about it. Thank you so much for spending a little time. The business is Paper Therapy. You can find her on Etsy. That's the best way to get connected. And then you can sign up and get her newsletters and find out where she is going to be. And remember, it's just paper. If you lived in the Northeast, then your happy place at the Magic Kingdom would be about 1,300 miles away. We're a lot closer. And maybe your happy place is much, much closer. If you need a sign that tells you where your happy place is and reminds all your friends, well, then happy place signs is actually exactly what you need. And actually, there's so much more than just signs. So what, who am I kidding? This is Alan Mueller. He's going to tell us all about it. First, I want to know how you got into this business. This all started because my son and I, we, we're big Disney fans. Uh -huh. And we have a gazebo out back by our pool, and we decided to make a little distance sign from our house to Disney World. We used a stain pen, and we did the Google Miles to figure it out, and we put it up in our backyard. And over the months, I looked at it, and I thought, I wonder if other people would like this. Yeah. And it turns out they do. <laughs> it turns out that it's, it's very popular. Um, I have shipped my signs all over the world, as far as Dubai and Germany and Australia and the UK. Um, and I have retailers, including one in downtown Greensboro, uh, the Just Be store right there on McGee Street, sell some of my things. Um, and so it's just, it's taken off and it's got a life of its own. So where are people's happy places? Oh my gosh, well Disney is a big draw, yeah. right? The Magic Kingdom, but I have done signs to Myrtle Beach, Daytona Beach, Vatican City, Moab, the desert, I mean, all kinds of fascinating places. And so wherever someone's happy place is, uh, is, is where we can make signs. And I do custom designs all the time. And the thing that was interesting is, you know, during 2020, a lot of people couldn't travel. And during that time, a little memento of the place they'd like to visit when they were able was just the right thing. It's not just signs. It, it, it grew from that. It started with signs. It started with these arrow signs, but now it's keychains and fridge magnets. I do um, corporate installations for businesses that want their business logo on a wall. Cool. 
I do keychains for businesses where they have QR codes on the back to their website. Um, and so all kinds of really interesting things that, that I'm able to do. All right, so you know, you started with, with Disney. Is that the most popular, you it's, think? It's very popular. I mean, it's number one travel destination in the United States. And so people, it's so fascinating what memories people attach to. And so sometimes their memory is a favorite ride like Splash Mountain. And I might be doing a sign t directly to Splash Mountain. Oh, I love it. Sometimes it's to like their favorite snack, like like a, a turkey leg, right? And I'm doing a I'm doing a sign with mileage to the turkey leg, okay. right? And so it's all the little things that are attached to people's memories. Um, but I literally make signs pointing to all over the world, and I literally send them all over the world. And it has to be pretty special that your people are letting you into their lives and into these wonderful moments of their lives. Oh, it's so cool. And I mean, we've done things now where we've done uh, things where people are surprising their children with a trip, and they are using our products to surprise their children. We've had things where we've helped with proposals. We have little hearts where we have proposals or wedding dates. We even um, had a woman whose uncle passed and he loved a certain quote by Babe Ruth. And so we etched a photograph of him with that quote and he was buried with it. And so we really have, I mean, it's, it's a really, really unique gift and um, and it really you know makes some people happy. So. How do we find you? How do we order all of that? The main two places to find me are Happy Place Signs on Etsy. Uh, and then also we have custom signs and designs by Doc on Facebook. Okay, and then of course you said Just Be in downtown Greensboro. Just Be in downtown Greensboro has got some of my North Carolina magnets and they're like cut out of the state yeah. uh, and some ornaments and things down there as well. And so they've got some of my things, yeah. Alan, so much fun to talk with you today. Thank you for sharing your talent and your joy. Thank you for including me in this. It was great to talk to you. Yeah. All right, you heard it. Happy Place Signs. That's what you need to look for on Etsy. Uh, check them out also in downtown Greensboro to see, you know, a smaller version of the magnets and then find your happy place. Have you ever done any tie-dyeing? Did it come out like this? Or was it maybe a little more muted? Or maybe the design wasn't quite what you had imagined? It was probably a lot of fun, a whole lot of mess, and that's kind of how it starts, I think. Amy Mueller is the owner and creator of Twisty Mama Tie-Dyes, right? Yes, Twisty Mama's Tie-Dye. Tie yeah. tie and um, she's been doing this for a very long time. How did you get started? Um, I've always loved tie-dye in junior high. My best friend gave me a tie-dye shirt and I wore it until it, you know, wore out completely. <laughs> and then, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago, um, my husband actually was doing an event at Appalachian and part of it was tie-dye. And I showed up and just did it and I was like, hmm, maybe I should do this with my students. And so within two weeks, I was tie-dyeing with 100 kids at my school. This was up in Boone. And it just took off from there. And I realized that the more I, you know, could make it into a business, the more I could tie-dye for myself as well. <laughs> so, And you were a Gifford County Schools teacher. And so uh, you brought that now to Greensboro. And we're so happy you did. But did your first ones look this good? Oh, no, no, they were unrecognizable. Um, no, I, it took me a while to find the, the quality dyes. The, um, the right kind of materials and to really work the process. And even now, 10, 15 years later, I still come out with some, I'm like, oh, that's not what I was going for. And some that I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you you learned how to do all the different designs and, and then created your own. I know, I can tell this is, this looks like an original to me. I did, I, I made this, I wanted to see how it would do um, on a Santa hat and yeah. I thought this would be a fun one. So I just, you know, made a stencil, traced it, and um, kind of went for it. And it came out nice. So what is the most interesting design um, that you have come up with or attempted, do you think? Um, well, one thing that I've gotten pretty good at is number shirts. Um, oh, cool. I actually made this one for the 100th day of school. Oh, fun. Um, but I also do, I, I do a lot of birthday shirts. That's something that people have really um, taken to. I make one for my son every year. He's got his 8, 9, 10, 11, Aww. 12, 13 now, and they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, so this is a fun one. Um, I've made socks. These are actually grippy socks, like you would get um, at a trampoline park. Yeah, yeah trampoline place. Um, of course. Uh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Um, all my masks <laughs> for, throughout the pandemic have been tie-dye, um, and I can do all kinds of designs 
and uh, bigger towels. And actually, I just um, contracted with a local charter school to do an order for 650 <laughs> tie-dye shirts. So they're they're gonna put their logo there in the center. Oh, cool. So I've I've been busy. Awesome. And where can we find you when we want to order, you know, when we are not so brave as to do it ourselves or we need 600? <laughs> um, I, I have an Etsy shop, um, Twisty Mama's Tie Dye. Um, you can email me, same email, Facebook, Instagram. I'm everywhere on there, Twisty Mama's Tie Dye. It's funny because every once in a while I'll get a phone call from somebody, uh, I just Googled Greensboro Tie Dye and you came up. I'm like, oh, cool. That's okay. Yeah, so that's fun. And, and the thing I like about it also is this is just a supplemental job. I do it because I love it. I do it because it's fun. And, you know, being an educator, I think most educators have a side gig. Right. Um, so it keeps me in tie-dye. It helps my family, you know, take trips and everything. And I just, I love doing it. I love when I see my students wearing their shirts. I love when I'm at Disney World and I can spot my shirt across the park. I'm like, I made that one. Amy, thank you so much. Twisty Mama's tie-dye, that's the way to find her and bring a little bit more uh, color into your life. This is a time when we really need smell-o-vision because the smell here is just glorious and relaxing and that's kind of what it's all about clean relaxing and it's it's called some call me crunchy and Aaron Jones is is the owner operator inventor so what does that mean some call me crunchy it's it's funny I get off I get asked this uh, question a lot um, but when I started making these products my um, husband asked me if I was turning crunchy on him and I had no idea what he was referring to <laughs> and so I you know went to Google and was like what does this mean and you know, so it's crunchy granola. Uh -huh. I am a little bit crunchy, so that's where the sum call me crunchy comes uh -huh. from. Got it. Um, so yeah, it just kind of stuck. It started out as a blog, and then it kind of turned into a um, full business. Okay, so what is it? What do you do? Yeah, so I make all natural face and body care products. Um, things from like face and body care, like cleansing oils, complexion mist, um, and then body butters, um, hand sanitizers, um, bath salts, things like that. How did you get interested in this? Um, so I kind of went on a health kick because of some pretty um, severe health problems of my own um, with migraines about 13 years ago. Um, I was teaching and started having um, auras um, with migraines and like three a week. Um, so it was pretty, it was pretty severe. And so I um, started researching, like switching up things in my own lifestyle and that included diet. Um, and then also thinking about like what, what I put on my body, not just what I put in it. So I was trying to move into a more natural um, way of cleaning my house or products that I use and um, and just started trying to make them and just see like um, what I thought and I used them on myself and then I started giving them as gifts and then someone said, well, maybe you should like put these on Etsy. So that's what I did. I started on Etsy, was there for a while um, in that space and then kind of moved over to my own website. And, and so do you just found there was a big market for it? Yes, there was a big market for it. Um, and it was slow growing, you know, getting my name out there and things like that. But um, especially in Greensboro, um, I do a lot of my business in like in Greensboro. I ship a lot too, but um, yeah, I definitely found that there was a market for it. So where um, can we find you in Greensboro? Um, I am at Vita Porti. I have some products there. I'm also at Be Kind Kids. My kid, I have some baby rollers and a baby balm that's really popular is there. And then I'm at Scent Workshop in Friendly Center. And what is it that you have enjoyed most about this business and, 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 and particularly being here in Greensboro? Yeah, um, so I was a school, I was a teacher and then a school librarian. Um, and then when my daughter was born, I started doing this and I just fell in love with it. I think I am, I'm, I'm, I'm a very organized, um, detailed person and I just kind of could make this what I wanted to make it. Um, I never thought of myself as a creative person until I started doing this and then realized that I was and it, there was just a lot of freedom and beauty and like being able to be creative um, and also like be organized and have my own business <laughs> yeah. and run all of the things so yeah. 
It's all right. Well, congratulations, and thank you for the delightful smells and the, and the and then just the aura that is here, the in the good kind of auras. Yes, uh, you can find uh, find her products online, of course, in the Greensboro store she mentioned, and at somecallmecrunchy.com. need to add a little warmth glow and fragrance to your holiday season well you've come to the right spot because reunited is the place to go kathy uninus is the one who does the um does the candles and you may remember her because you also met her first when we did goat yoga with her <laughs> yes we I, we are still doing goat yoga and um doing a lot of private parties and our public events will be um, in the spring. Okay, so I have to ask, did you start doing candles because, you know, the goats have a smell and you maybe <laughs> needed like a, a more lovely smell? <laughs> no, I started doing candles because I love candles and I'd always, I'm crafty, I used to make jewelry and then I just needed a new craft and so I started to make them. I saw that a lot of craft shows had jar, you know, jars, they use a lot of mason jars and I thought, these are so boring. And so I wanted to create a candle that had some uniqueness and was also um, repurposing. So, and I'm a thrifter. Right. So I love to go look in thrift stores and find containers and then fill them up. And it's just kind of blossomed into a little business. And you found some fabulous, you have fabulous finds all the time that you are yeah. making into candles. Uh, yes, I am. I mean, for example, this, this one here, this is a milk glass container. Um, and I've made it into one of my um, essential oil um, candles. And so, yeah, it's so fun for me. It's like, um, finding uh, treasures uh, that people yeah. just discarded. And so for me, it's also a way to help the environment. Absolutely, now tell us about your actual candles and the candle making. Okay, so I use 100% pure soy, and then I use very high quality wicks. So I order from candle companies, and then I use essential oils when I can. Essential oils are really expensive, and they can disintegrate in high temperatures of wax. So then, so I would say a lot of my candles, I use the fragrance oils, which are just oils that are made with very clean uh, fragrance so that there's no toxins in them. So they've all been tested and there's no harmful chemicals in it. So I really do care about that. So I make sure that I use those. And, and what has the response been since you started making candles? Uh, it's been really positive. Um, so this is my third year and uh, I, it keeps seeming to get bigger and bigger and I've been branching out making some even like really kind of cool, unique ones. Like I used a 32 ounce uh, antique cut glass bowl that I made and somebody bought that right away and um, filled with Fraser fur. So people love it. I've also branched out into my tins. Um, I have these, these are my little glass containers. People like a small gift. So it's been a really positive response. And you're just selling it through your studio and you're in your, your business and your family, your home? Yeah, yeah, I've tried to, I'm starting on Instagram and um, right now I have my own business page. It's Unitas Yoga and then I named my candle brand reunited and they smell so good we, we had to get that in there <laughs> it was, yeah. it was a contract contract yeah. between us <laughs> yeah so um i'm hoping that i can get um you know a little bit better organized and i probably need to hire somebody to help me um to get it out there into the world well that is a great problem to have right yeah yeah, yeah definitely definitely so much fun thanks for spending a little time and once again the website is it's uniteusyoga.com. That you can also find out about her wonderful yoga classes, the goat yoga classes, which yes. will come back a, a later yeah. when the weather warms up, and the beautiful candles. Uh, beautiful to see and to smell. Yes. So thank you so much. Thank you. No need to travel this holiday season. No need to go out of town to shop or eat or have a little fun. It is all right here in Greensboro. Happy holidays from all of us at GTN.